welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Death Shelf episode. If you don't know what this is, this is where I review books that have to do with death, death positivity, ghosts and all things macabre. So today I will be reviewing a book that will probably be my favorite book of the year and that's Dark Archives, a librarian's investigation into the science and history of books bound in human skin by Megan Rosenblum. As a librarian and a person who has studied rare books and manuscripts and has a passion and love for the macabre and creepy, Megan Rosenblum was one of the first people that Twitter has recommended I follow when I joined and I'm so glad I did because I saw ads for this book a while back and I was so looking forward to it coming out. Um, I requested an electronic arc and I've read it and I loved it so much I pre-ordered it and this came out only two days ago. I love this book so so much. In the past you and I have discussed conservation and preservation, what gives books that bookish smell and the breaking down of the glue in the spine and the breaking down of the leather and why we have certain smells in rare books. We've discussed bookworms but I have to admit I had no idea how big of a knowledge gap this topic was for me. Um, it was both familiar and new and I just loved that experience of reading this book for that reason. So I did know that human skin was used for binding certain books. I have heard that there were certain trial transcripts that were used uh, that were bound in the criminal's skin. I know that there were kind of sensationalized things like serial killers binding things in their victim's skin. But this book does not take that approach. This book is highly inquisitive and it looks at books from a very academic perspective, but it is written in a way that's very accessible and anyone could be taken on this learning journey with Rose and Bloom without feeling excluded or alienated. The one thing that first blew my mind was that this practice has a name. Anthropodermic bibliopagy. A combination of the Greek root words for human, anthropos, skin, derma, book, biblion, and fasten. Pegia. In this book we look at several chapters. First we are introduced to one of the first few books bound in human skin and to our surprise we find that it's actually in the medical world that this practice was done. And it was only because human skin was left over after surgeries where you know doctors and medics and students would practice the dissection of human cadavers and they were done with the organs so now they had left over some skin and they used it kind of for practical reasons. Seeking our interest we take a journey into the lab and we get to see how these things are preserved, why certain things like cellulose might be a better component or enzyme to help preserve human skin or why we treat them with certain chemicals. And then she takes us through a kind of zoomed out experience where we look at the gender studies dynamics and how also women were involved in this or victimized by this and how they're perceived in the medical world. And uh, we also look at collectors. What kind of people does it take to collect books like these? And each one of these individual cases has a story of its own. Every rare book is a unique artifact. And for each one of these cases, there's a whole backstory as to how the book became what it was, which people bound it, which people preserved it, which people bought it and sold it. Every single book has a long history and Rosenboom kind of examines and explores every single one and interviews a lot of people in the process. She goes to several universities and several countries to study these things. And we also have a guest appearance in the book by Dr. Uh, Lindsay Fitzharris, whose book we read and reviewed last year and absolutely love. Lastly, and perhaps most interestingly, the book ends on this kind of open-ended thing with what will we do with human skin in the future? And it also looks at how people are kind of starting to do really interesting things with human skin now, specifically when it comes to corpse preservation or skin preservation and tattoos. So currently there are people who request in a kind of my body my choice or my corpse my choice a blend of what you want to do with your body after you die and preservation work and you can actually request that certain parts of your skin are preserved um, and darkened or 
preserved in a specific way and that that part of you remains forever. So for people um, for whom tattoos are so important or they have a truly symbolic meaning, their descendants down the line might be able to actually have pieces of skin from their grandparents. And this can be done with NAPSA, the National Association for the Preservation of Skin Art. Obviously I've left many things out because this book is packed with research and anecdotes and individual stories, but it's also packed with fun facts. Almost every single paragraph will have something that is just like a tiny little little morbid tidbit that it will just blow you away. And, um, and there are also kind of social implications or cultural implications that she examines. I would strongly recommend this book to anyone who considers themselves both a bibliophile but also kind of likes slightly morbid things and has this scientific interest in some way. And I would recommend this if you enjoy Dr. Fitzharris's book and Mary Roach's book Stiff. It's kind of along those lines. It has this extra sprinkle because of the addition of books to the conversation of human cadavers. I do hope more people pick up this book. And I will link down below all the information you need. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!